All right, it's that time of year where, you know, it's getting a little warmer out. So I'm gonna be switching out some of my drawers from, from my like fall winter stuff to my spring summer stuff. Is there lip gloss on my glasses already? You know? But yeah, sometimes I like watching people do mundane tasks like this and sometimes it inspires me to do my tasks, even if it's just background noise. Hello, Mr. Godfrey. I don't think he realized there's a camera yet, otherwise he would be skedaddling. Hello, Mr. Man. Look at me. Why do you, why does he look, why is he st the stance? He looks like that, like, but yeah, that's my sweet boy. He's doing good. We loves him. But yeah, I don't like, I don't store like all of my seasonal stuff away. My off season stuff, I just put it in like my dresser that's a lot smaller and like more cramped that I use less as opposed to like my bigger dresser where I can have things more laid out and visual. So yeah, Ooh, Jesus. Um, my TV stand, it's like my TV stand slash dresser. I already switched out my long sleeve casual tees with my short sleeve ones because it's a very small drawer, but today is going to be a much bigger task. Swapping out all of my shorts with my winter shirts and sweaters. So first, I have all of my shorts shoved into these two drawers and I'm going to take them out. Um, I have pajama pants on. Cause I'm just at that point where you, you will not catch me in real pants unless genuinely required. So, oh, hello. What a view. Okay. I'm gonna just start scooping and bringing everything over. I might like go through and donate some of this stuff too if I'm not gonna wear it. This is always the time where I like reevaluate the stuff I got. Okay, that's one drawer. Now the second one. You also like don't realize how much stuff you have until you do something like this. And these two bottom drawers is where I keep like, these are my winter, like nicer long sleeve shirts and my hoodies, my pullover hoodies. Okay, this is proving to be more difficult than I thought. Okay. <laughs> So first I'll empty out these drawers. I feel like I'm gonna be getting rid of more shorts than I am like tops and stuff. I'm gonna go through some of these also to decide if I wanna keep them. All right, we got some black basics. I feel like certain basics you should just hold on to, you know, cause you never know when they're gonna come in handy. These are all just like little black long sleeve crop tops. I have this one in black and pink. We love like a faux fur collar and a faux fur cuff, you know? Oh, this hoodie's cute. I think I'll also insert some pictures of me wearing some of this stuff. It's always hard to see off, but cute hoodie. I wore this to Firefly Festival this last, last year. Yeah, all these I'm gonna keep. Long sleeve tie up. Oh, this is like, it's like when you don't wanna wear like a full like hoodie or jacket or whatever. It's essentially just sleeves that you pop over. I have another one of those that says angel. Maybe I'll try to keep these a little more accessible because I feel like this is something you sometimes wear in the summer still. Okay, this top I wore recently to see Don Tolliver and Future. I had to show out, you know. The outfit was chef's kiss. Also, you can get a sneak peek of my downstairs decor in that photo. I don't know how I haven't worn this. The thing is, I like, I don't reach for my long sleeve stuff, even in the winter, just because I run so cold. But then I also sweat and I get hot when I go out. So I'm like, I never end up wearing half of my long sleeve stuff, but like this still has a tag on it, but it's so cute. Like I'm keeping it. This is, I mentioned this pink one with the faux fur. Another one that I never wore out. I did wear this for some TikToks though, and like a YouTube view, I think. Really cute tie up shirt with the bell sleeve. It's a little big on me because it's, like a size up from my usual size, but I just try to like tie it really tight. We're keeping her. Again, I don't think I'm gonna end up getting ready, rid of any of this. The shorts, I'm sure. Oh, this, oh my God, I still love this. If you watch my holiday haul, <laughs> you would have seen this little Hello Kitty number. Another shirt I did not get the chance to wear. This doesn't really match any of my brown pants. That's the thing, like, but I'm still keeping it. <laughs> this is like my one, literally the only turtleneck I own because I hate wearing turtlenecks. But for some reason, 
I'm like, well, you never know when you're gonna need a turtleneck. <laughs> oh, I forgot, I also had that faux fur number in white. Uh, I loved wearing this, except like the sleeves kept falling off the shoulders. I'm gonna keep it though. Like it's made me feel like a fairy princess, like a little white corset top with like these flowy sleeves, but has a little cold shoulder. Yeah, I felt very angelic wearing that. Sweatshirts, pullovers. Always need a plain black hoodie. And if you're me, you always need a plain pink hoodie. <laughs> And if you're me, you also need a pink Playboy oversized sweater or sweatshirt and another Playboy hoodie. I have the matching pants for this too. Vintage Playboy oversized pullover from Etsy. I've had this for a hot minute. I also have a print of this uh, art downstairs. It's just two people passing a J, you know. Obviously I needed to have that. And I haven't worn this in a hot minute either, a little cropped. Little cropped, fleecy, little bit of a sportier vibe. Okay, yeah, I'm officially not getting rid of any of that stuff. I have to sneeze. <laughs> All right, now that the drawers are empty, time to go through the shorts, organize them, figure out where I want them, what I'm keeping. <clears throat> Why does my voice keep cracking today? <laughs> it did it again. Hmm, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the shorts that I want to wear the most, my more favorite shorts here, and then my shorts that I wear the least here. I feel overwhelmed doing this because I have so many. Okay, bike shorts. I feel like I was really feeling bike shorts, like biker, like the biker length shorts for a while, but I'm kind of not anymore. I don't know, it's just like an awkward length. I feel like maybe it was just a phase of mom. Um, but I have like a couple of pairs. The pink tie-dye ones are cute. Those are very flattering. I think I got them at Forever 21 forever ago and they make my butt look good. So <laughs> we're keeping that. Little Playboy tie-dye shorts that match the hoodie that I just showed that I also have the sweatpants for. I forgot that I had the shorts for it too. So I'll put these in the wear more often section. Also, I just roll my clothing, I'm sure there are better, neater, more organized ways to do it, but I just like to see everything I have and I don't like, I don't know how to fold it the way I want it to be. All right, these are like those red, like TikTok legging <laughs> material. It's like the honeycomb fabric that has like the scrunch butt. It's supposed to like be very flattering. I remember going all out and buying these in a bunch of colors, especially the ones with the ties on the side. They are flattering, they're cute. Uh, I will keep it. Okay, I got them in black too. I know I also had them in pink. I don't know if I still have them in pink or if I decided to donate them or sell them. Also, yeah, by the way, I, when I go through all of my stuff, the stuff that I don't donate, if I think it's like worth reselling, I resell my stuff constantly on Depop, Poshmark, and Mercari. All are Morgan Joyce XO. And I do free shipping to the US on Mercari and Depop. I also have like quite a few, these are literally completely see-through, <laughs> but sometimes I get just plain black shorts to wear underneath skirts because I, you know, shout out to the brave people out there who just like go commando or can just like wear their teeny tiny underwear with their skirts and not feel self-conscious. I am terrified the entire night that I'm gonna flash cat and I 100% like am gonna flash cat Especially if I'm dancing, like so many times my like, skirts and dresses just like pop right up. Especially if they're flowy, like forget about it. So yeah, I almost always wear shorts under my skirts. So sometimes I try to get just like thin black shorts. Nike Pro shorts. These are a very, very, very tight squeeze. <laughs> um, these are like essentially compression, but I can still squeeze into them and they still look good. Oh, this was more of those like the TikTok fabric whatever honeycomb with the scrunch butt, but this was a matching set. I remember I posted this on my story and a lot of people asked where I got it and it's just from Amazon, but it's very, very flattering. Like at the top and the bottom. And I like that it was pink tie dye. I don't even know how I still have these American Eagle denim shorts. I, I should get rid of these, like I definitely should. But the thing is, again, I just have a fear where I'm gonna like, get called to some type of like job or event where like this is the required attire for some reason and then I'm not gonna have them 
and then I'm gonna have to like go shopping or try to find them and I don't want to be in that position <laughs> so it's like when I was doing my like eyeshadow my, my makeup decluttering and let me tell you what okay I was like I don't want to get rid of this rainbow palette that I've literally like never used because what if I just need a random colored eyeshadow one day and I'm like well it hasn't happened in years so I it's probably not going to and if it does I'll deal with it then well guess what one day I decided to do my Shigo cosplay and it's my first time like really doing a cosplay right and I wanted to like do it right guess who didn't have a green eyeshadow because she just decluttered her palette that she never touched and I was like are you kidding me <laughs> Are you kidding me? I was so mad at myself. I was like, see, this is why you hold on to things. But like, obviously you also want to declutter things, but I was like, of course. So now I'm like, you know what? If there's even a potential thought in my mind that I'm going to need this item, I'm holding on to it, okay? I have the space, so like, screw it. I was like, for real, for real. Some plain brown shorts also slightly see-through so I don't know. I'll show these in a haul too from Rainbow with their brown shorts that just have a little tie on the sides. Okay I need to put my hair by my ear because it keeps going in my face. All right I'm gonna just run through some of these boring ones. Put them away. Oh this romper is super cute. I put the rompers with my shorts because otherwise I forget about them because I feel like when you're in the mood to wear shorts it's like their shorts at the bottom, you know? But it's just kind of like a, it has a little keyhole cut out. You know how much we love that. And a little like chain that holds it up, a gold chain. It's hard to explain, you know, follow me, follow me on um, IG and Snapchat if you wanna see like actual outfit posts and stuff. Cause on my story, I always post my like, not always, but I post like when I'm, when I'm feeling my outfit, I post it on my stories or like sometimes when I go out with, with my friends I'll like post it on my story and you can see my outfits. I'm just like not big on documenting my life like <laughs> the irony of it all right like I've changed a lot I used to like take photos and videos of a lot more things and now I'm just like I want to live in the moment and because I really never lived in the moment I never took the time to absorb my surroundings and just like take it all in. I was just living through a screen for so long. So yeah, I've like completely changed. Uh, wouldn't be me if I didn't have a side, side rant tangent. Am I right? These are from Fashion Over. I think they're like the Wanderlust style. It was like that matching set that everyone had a few years ago, but I just really like the pattern and the like texture of the shorts. They're like a very flattering material. Oh, I forgot. This is like a cute little handmade set that I got on Depop. They're Sophie shorts, which is just super nostalgic for me because I was a cheerleader when I was a kid and all we wore was Sophie shorts. I had them in every single color. I like had a whole bunch that I wore to sleep every single night. So yeah, these are just like, it's just a cute little summery matching set that somebody hand tie dyed herself in like a little Hanes tank top that was cut. I've been shopping a lot more like on reselling apps, especially because there's just like so many like brands and sites that I just don't want to support. But when you buy them secondhand from someone else, that's literally like the most ethical way to consume anything at all. It's just so hard to find stuff in my size. Like I always complain about, but yeah, I've still, I've still been making the effort to do that. More denim shorts that I never wear, but I'm paranoid that if I get rid of them, I will suddenly need them. These are so wrinkly, but again, nostalgia moment. Like when I was on Warp Tour, like actually touring, um, doing meet and greets and meeting like literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of you guys, which was the probably like, I would have to say like one of the highlights of my life, like without a doubt, you know, like one of the most amazing like surreal experiences that I still have never fully been able to grasp. Anyway, I wore these shorts on Warped Tour a lot. So a lot of good memories attached to these. A little matching Playboy set from PacSun. These are so, these are very, very tiny. It's another like compression, like athletic wear type set, but 
I was able to squeeze into them last summer, so hopefully I'll be able to squeeze into them this summer, but yeah, your girl also is like ending her, her period right now, so I'm not trying to s literally squeeze into absolutely anything other than squeezing dessert into my mouth, so we'll see when <laughs> when the hot weather comes around and I go to wear, go to wear this if it still fits. More cute Playboy shorts. I don't remember where these are from. I've had these for a long time also. What does it say? Oh, these are from Misguided, rest in peace. This is a matching set that was sent to me by Born Dead Clothing. They're kind of like, um, like basketball short style and it says cry baby. I really like the barbed wire heart. Just has some flames, a little smiley face and like a cross, crisscross cross band-aid. Super cute, and then it has the matching top that just says baby with some barbed wire and stuff on it, and the back has a little cherub angel. You have to size up in these, so if you're going to order that, just be aware that they're not, that they're sized like super, super teeny, teeny, tiny. I remember when they sent them to me, I like had to get multiple sizes sent, like try them on, but they told me it runs small, so I was like, you were not lying. But it's really cute. Really, really cute. Okay, this is going faster than I thought. Yay! Denim shorts. Do I even need to say it? Like, obviously, I need a high-waisted pair and a low-waisted pair for the, you know, just in case. And the distressed blue shorts, which really aren't not even my vibe anymore, but I just don't have any denim shorts that I really like, so we're rolling with it. I just don't like wearing denim, period. It's just like, ugh, I feel so constricted. Oh my god, how many do I have? Okay, maybe we can eliminate one pair of these black. Because I don't need three pairs. Oh my god, I got these so long ago from like Victoria's Secret pink. And I wish they were just like plain, plain sweatshorts that didn't say pink and like didn't have anything on it because these are just the most flattering shorts I think that I've like ever had in my entire life, so I hold on to them for literally solely that reason. Oh, I forgot. I didn't even did I even know I had these? Or the Fashion Nova like the gray shorts I was just talking about in black. Love that for me. This is another little romper. I usually don't like rompers. I think they're unflattering and they don't fit me well. Like most of them are just not made for like super short torso petite people, which I am one of, but I found a couple that are like flattering. Sometimes you just don't want to put an outfit together and like a romper is like an outfit that already <laughs> exists for you. These are also bike shorts. I just hold on to these because they were very, very flattering. I don't know if I'll ever end up actually wearing them again. But sometimes my stuff just looks good even if it's not like totally my style anymore. I'm just like, but it looks so good. <laughs> Oh my god, there's more? Okay, yeah, we do not need all of these bike shorts. We don't, we don't, we don't. Same situation, these are just so flattering, but like, I'm not gonna wear, like, I don't, I, I'm not into like the snake print anymore. Oh, but these really are so flattering. Okay, no, we have to make decisions. We have to make decisions. <sighs> okay, but wait, I don't think the place I got these from exists anymore. Let me see. Oh no, these are from Pretty Little Thing. Uh, ah, no, you know what? This Is this my vibe? Like, I don't know. I go through so many phases with my style. I'm like, this clearly isn't my vibe now, but what if it comes back? And then I hate myself for not having them anymore. <laughs> See, this is... Okay, my camera stopped recording. Don't know when. But we consolidated two pairs of bike shorts and one pair of denim shorts. Better than nothing. More lip gloss on my glasses, for real. I'm... Ah! Okay, so yeah, drawers full, organized with all of my shorts. Now, we just have to tackle putting back. Wait, there has to be something stuck behind this drawer. I just can't get to it. But there has to be something behind it, I feel it. What is back there? Oh my god, there is something back here. Oh. A very, very warm, like, Sherpa type. Now my drawer is gonna close all the way. 
Hooray! I was wondering what was blocking it and I could not get my hand back there, but today she did. Now, I'm gonna put all this stuff back into, I'm gonna try to make all this stuff fit into two tiny drawers, so wish me luck on that. Okay, I'm literally sweating from shoving everything in to those drawers. One of them may or may not open when I go to actually wear the item if I need to, but I had to put a few in this drawer. And then this one's barely opening, and then this one is shoved closed. I was sweating. But okay, anyway, hope you enjoyed watching me um, do one of my, one of my uh, mundane tasks. If this is something y'all enjoy, let me know on Twitter. Comment on an IG photo, let me know. Cause I just do, I do obviously so many just like random things that I deem as boring around the house. Then I realized that like, I like watching other people do boring things. <laughs> so I was like, maybe I should just film myself doing my boring things. So I can film myself doing more boring things, if you want. Normally I will not, have my hair and makeup done while doing those things. The only reason I did today is because I wanted to take new profile photo, which are just like easy selfies instead of a whole like curated shoot. So uh, yeah, anyways, <laughs> love you guys. Subscribe if you're not. Check to make sure you're subscribed. Are you? I'm waiting. And yeah, please, please, please give me video suggestions because your girl just, your girl's just at a loss. I'm definitely still stuck in like old school YouTube in a lot of ways, which I do like. I, I like that, so that's cool, but I would like some, some new ideas, so please let your girl know. And yeah, I love y'all again if I didn't say that already. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye!